what is a sensitivity analysis within the cost volume profit analysis? Well, to start with, the cost volume of profit analysis is used to demonstrate uh, how changes in cost or the volume of production that a uh, production process goes through or an organization undertakes that affects profitability. So whatever changes in cost or volume, what is the effect of uh, that change on profits. Now, the formula to make this determination is generally the break-even point. Okay, so you set the break-even point, which would be where the um, operating profit equals zero. Okay, so you would take your total fixed cost and divide it by your contribution margin per unit, and this would give you your break-even point. Okay, now with that being said, you can use this same formula to do a what if or sensitivity analysis to see how specific changes in either of these variables affects ultimately the point at which you reach break even or if you have an intended profit range, right, or an intended specific profit, you can add that in and see how many units uh, you would have to sell, for example, or uh, what uh, total value you would have to bring in in sales in order to reach that target point. So once again, this is how you could use the sensitivity analysis. Now, the different variables as part of this formula are you need to calculate the number of units first, so that, that would be um, the, at the break-even point based upon the number of units you'd have to sell, you would take, again, your fixed cost plus your intended total profits, right? Uh, so if you have an expected profit of $100,000, you take your fixed cost plus your $100,000 and you divide it by your contribution margin ratio. And so instead of setting your break-even point at zero, basically you're setting it at this target amount, and that would tell you the number of units you would need to sell. So what is your contribution margin in this scenario? This is where your individual variables come in, and you could change these as well to see how either of these affected ultimately uh, profitability or the number of units required. You would um, Your contribution margin is nothing but your revenue minus your variable costs. So uh, once again, it's what's left over after you, after you break out those variable costs, uh, not including your overhead and things like that. Then you would take your you would find your contribution margin ratio, which again was the denominator in our equation, right? And you would say, what's your contribution margin divided by your total sales revenue? Okay, like I say, it's um, it is a percentage. So your contribution margin is a percentage there of your total uh, revenue, and you use this again as part of that sensitivity analysis. And so once again, you're simply doing a if this changes, then what happens situation. And that's why they call it a sensitivity analysis, because ultimately one variable is sensitive to changes in another variable. There are also ways to do this uh, with uh, regression analysis the same way. Uh, but again, the cost volume profit analysis is the uh, most commonly used and straightforward means or method of testing the sensitivity and change of one variable uh, and the effect on other variables of that change.